Welcome to my presentation. Today, I want us to look at what is known as the group living marriages. This is your narrator, Professor Kibet. As a matter of introduction, I wish to say that group marriage or conjoined marriage is a marital arrangement where three or more adults enter into sexual, affective, romantic, or otherwise intimate short-term or long-term partnerships and share in any combination of finances, residences, care, or kin work. I know this is a kind of arrangement that many people don't know. It's a group marriage or a group marriage is considered a form of polygamy. So in this video, I will be exploring the forms and the nature of group marriages. Forms of group marriages. Group marriages takes the form of group uh, marriage, but is not restricted to the married numbers. Group living ranges from one co-residential arrangement such as a commune to open marriage arrangements. The group residential arrangements may have as their core projects the mystical or religious exp exploration or the economic cooperation and this uh, such as the Israeli kibbutz. Now, I want us to go further and explain the group marriage. What does it entail and what is it? So depending on the sexual orientation of the individuals involved, all others in the group marriage may be sexual partners of all others with whom they are compatible. For instance, if all members are heterosexual, all the women may have sexual relationship with all the men. If members are bisexual or pansexual, they may have evolved sexual relationship with either sex. Group marriage implies a strong commitment to be faithful by having sex only within the group and intending to remain together for an extended period of time. The group may be open to taking on new partners, but only if all members of the family agree to accept the new person as a partner. The new person then moves into the household and becomes an equal member of the family. They are also organized in varying ways, but one of the unifying factors is their expanding the range of intimate relationships beyond the, beyond the narrow confines of the conjugal family. In open marriages, extramarital sexual activities are openly admitted as part of everyday life of a married couple. And such couples acknowledge the affair to be a natural ingredient of marriage that opens opportunities for personal development, e.g. swinging, regularized or regularized spouse swapping. Eight, in swinging or regularized spouse swapping, the marital partner share a wide variety of other sets of partners or swapping may take place only between couples who have been long standing friends. So that marks the end of that presentation where in our presentation today we discussed about the group living marriages. Thank you.